All right, so I'm here to check out the last DLC of Season 2 for Fight Forever here. So this is the Tony Storm DLC. The storm is coming now. <laughs> uh, usually I like to live stream the DLC stuff, but uh, I really think this is going to be a super quick video. Uh, I just kind of want to do it because uh, <laughs> this DLC has been getting a heavy criticism for a lot of reasons. And to be honest, I think I agree with most of it. And this game in general, people have turned on this game <laughs> big time. Uh, so this DLC is $12 if you want to buy it individually. You get one wrestler, Tony Storm, and the justification to why the price is you also get like 10 new music tracks. And I don't even have the list of tracks here because honestly I don't really care to check it out. But apparently people are saying it's a lot of outdated stuff. Like I guess there's themes like people like not even in the game like uh, like Yuta and stuff. But uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Like, I understand why this is getting criticized. $12 for basically one superstar. And then on top of it, this is one criticism I don't... I, I don't even know if it's like an agree or disagree thing. I just think people just don't really understand. People are criticizing because this is like outcast Tony Storm. And of course, you know, Tony Storm now is doing like the whole timeless Tony Storm thing. And to be honest, uh, quick side note here. Uh, when Tony Storm first came to AEW, I was kind of like, eh, it's really not that exciting, kind of doing boring stuff in AEW. But now I've kind of done a 180 on that where the timeless Tony Storm stuff is kind of really entertaining. And also they, um, they, they filmed like a promo video of like her doing the whole timeless Tony Storm thing, promoting the DLC, which is really weird. It's like kind of rubbing it into the face of the fans like, hey, this is timeless Tony Storm, but she's not in the game. Like, now, obviously, I understand, right, because the timing of how long it takes to make a character in DLC, it just didn't work out. So I think it's unfair of people to say, like, oh, man, it should be timeless Tony Storm. And yeah, that'd be great, but the timing didn't work out on it. So there you go. So I think that's the one thing I don't necessarily agree with people getting mad about. Yeah, I get it. Like, it's outdated, but that's just the nature of the beast for wrestling games, in my opinion. Like, a lot of, like, things change constantly, so it's not easy to keep up with stuff now. I mean, would I like to see an update with her included? Yeah, but I mean, is there even going to be a season three of this game? Like, what's going on? Who really knows? So really, all this video is going to be is me just playing one match with Tony Storm, I guess. Um, I have it on Elite difficulty. I uh, did one warm-up match because I go through periods of like not playing this game, so hopefully I can win here, but if I don't, it is what it is. But here we go. So here's Tony Storm. Uh, in terms of like the character model, like I said, this is like outcast Tony Storm. I think it's okay not the best not the worst i don't know i think her head looks kind of small to me but <laughs> i think a lot of character models are like that but uh yeah it's okay i guess i mean who do i even want to face i don't even know <laughs> well, I'll face them. this is the worst character model of all time right here um i'll face thunder rosa i guess i don't know all right here we go this bout is set for one fall. Man, this should be one hell of a singles match. Indeed, JR, indeed it will. So let's check out this entrance. Making her way to the ring, Tony Storm. Representing the outcast, <laughs> no Saray in this game, which uh, I think some people are saying she might be and in oh, season three if they do a season three. Rosa. But uh, we'll see. But yeah, it's it's kind of funny how like much people have turned on this game. <laughs> that shouldn't look too bad in game, really. Ah, oh, god, big Larry. That's my opening statement. That's my twelve dollar lariat right there. <laughs> big blot. Oh god. I was gonna say, what just happened there? She reversed her. Okay, I'm getting destroyed here. <laughs> I paid twelve dollars to get destroyed. <laughs> Well, I mean, also, if you have the season pass, like, obviously it's included, but that's just, like, the criticism is, like, um, if you want to buy this individually, like, it might... Thinking about it, is this the most expensive single DLC wrestler of all time? <laughs> I'm sure there's some things I'm not forgetting, but, I mean, it's kind of crazy, man. Okay, elite level uh, AI right there is completely missing. Yeah, let's hit her with the heavy grapple. How about that? Yep! <laughs> $12 Alabama Slammer. It's kind of funny because I uh, recently played the Bad Bunny bonus DLC for 2K23, and that was also getting criticized for being overpriced. But this, in my opinion, is worse. Like, how many people actually care about getting all these outdated uh, wrestler entrance themes? I know I don't. Like, I, I know maybe the counter argument could be like, um, hey, this game doesn't have commentary, so you hear the theme songs while you're playing here, so. That's why they're more valuable, you know, to have more themes. But to me, like, 
DLC themes and wrestling games were never something I really cared about. Because, like, um, those were just things that were, like, standardly included with the wrestler, you know? Like, seeing them, like, especially people not in the game, like, getting their theme, it's like, who really cares, you know? <laughs> And that's just what I think. And of course, if you want to listen to music while playing the game, you could just mute the tracks in game and boot up like <laughs> iTunes or Windows Media Player or something, right? <laughs> so, like, uh, I don't know. Okay, I was cheering for Tony Storm here. But yeah, I mean, the timeless Tony Storm stuff is really entertaining here. Where's my Wendy Richter bonus DLC? <laughs> Actually, I'm having a pretty good run here. Let's try a corner grapple, I guess. But I, I hate making fun of this game. I really do because I really don't hate the game. I just think like some of the decisions behind it and direction of it just don't really make sense to me. And, yeah. We'll see. In my opinion, do I want to see season, season three? Yes, I do. Um, but I think at a certain point they're gonna have to think. Uh, like I don't. I don't think they'd see like. Season 3 might happen, but I don't think we'd ever see a Season 4, but... They did say they plan on, like, constantly, uh, updating this game. But I think at a certain point, you gotta throw in the towel and, uh... <laughs> look for a new game to build up better systems and stuff. Like, the Crater Wrestler thing is inexcusable in 2024, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think updates can save that system. And I'll, they talk about, like, in their trailers, like, Oh, you get these cosmetic, uh... Textures you can put on your wrestlers. It's like... Who cares? Like, do I really want to see, like, Tony Storm with, like, polka dots or whatever it is? I know, I really don't. Okay, this is not good. Thunder Rose has a signature here. Oh, no. How did she catch up on momentum? I feel like I was destroying her. Oh, it's over. No! <laughs> Big reversal. That was big. Reverse your finisher here. Am I really going to pay $12 to lose to Thunder Rosa? The answer is yes, it was looking like... <laughs> I'm having trouble reversing. I mean, I reversed the finisher, which is pretty big, but... Oh, no. Stop. I don't tap. Don't believe anyone! Trying to get her out of the ring, like that. Okay. <laughs> AW fight forever, ladies and gentlemen. Try that again. And it got reversed, of course. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, it's absolutely over, unless I can reverse the finisher again. Okay, please leave. Okay, it worked that time. Okay, I'm trying to waste her finisher here. It's special, I'm sorry. It's special on my own. Oh, what is this? Oh, that was a pretty cool animation. All right, here we go. The big comeback. The $12 comeback. Pony Storm chant going on here. Okay, I'm just gonna simply back away. Okay, no, it did not work. <laughs> big reversal. All uh, right, here we go. Give me a lot of momentum, by the way. All right, here we go. So I looked at her uh, moves. So that's her first signature. She also has like that corner hip attack she usually does. So let's try that. I mean, speaking of storms, right now there's a big winter storm where I'm at. Right, here we go. Tony Storm, by God, $12 hip attack! Alright, Storm Zero, here we go. So strong! Here we go. My God! That's gotta be, it's such a pretty good match. Cover! But is that enough? Answer is yes. <laughs> Tony Storm has done it. There we I go, can't record. I was here for this amazing matchup. It was a classic, to say the least, and one people will be talking about for years. <laughs> Thank you, Jr. Also, um, another thing I don't know if I've ever talked about. This game's match rating system. It, like, it's not necessarily rating the quality of the match. It's like how you performed. Like, you can see my HP being low is considered a C plus. But wouldn't it make more sense if, like, in how it is like in the 2k games where like a better match where it was competitive is rated better but i guess that the idea is rating how well you did so like if i didn't get hit it'd be better but whatever there you go tony storm is i guess i'll go to her uh character profile real quick um 
I mean, we'll be missing your signature because you can unlock their autograph if you beat them in a match. But there you go. There's $12 Tony Storm on the menu here. Um, let's find her right here. Right, yeah, so there you unlock their autograph by defeating them, which I don't really... <laughs> Uh, that's all I really have to say about this DLC. It's gonna be a quick video, but uh, there you go, Tony Storm. Not uh, not timeless Tony Storm, which would have been great. But of course, like I said, like uh, this is obviously in development before that. So there you go. So that's AW Fight Forever. That's the last piece of DLC I haven't played. Uh, I figured I'd just do a video. Now I guess we'll see what the future holds for uh, this game in terms of DLC. Are we gonna see a season three? I don't really know. I still want to do a couple more Road to the Elite playthroughs. I want to do one as Owen Hart specifically, but uh, I don't know when I'm going to be doing that. But uh, to the two people that watch this video, <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people don't really seem to care about this DLC, but I just wanted to play it, give my quick thoughts on it, and experience it. And it wasn't long enough to justify a live stream, so I could have waited till like um, the next season if it's even going to happen. But like I said, I'm not really sure if there is going to be a season three or not, so. Um, there you go. The, the storm. There it was. The storm is coming. It was $12. Uh, I mean, seeing this character model here, she doesn't seem as bad, but, uh, pretty cool. But again, the price is the big point of controversy here. So there you go. That was the last piece of Fight Forever DLC. So we'll see if the future holds. Either way, I'll be here. I'll see you next time.